Designing structures in SOLIDWORKS has always been fast and easy, and SOLIDWORKS 2016 adds some great enhancements to help you get the job done faster. When you create structural members, the size list is now sorted numerically, and the two most recently used sizes are located at the top. Another big improvement is the ability to transfer materials straight from the library profile feature into the structural member, reducing wasted effort and errors in mass property calculations. In the Feature Manager, structural members are now given a more descriptive name based on the type and size property. Hovering over a member also gives a convenient tooltip with the same convention. Previously, SOLIDWORKS 2015 introduced the ability to quickly and easily create end caps such as this internal example. SOLIDWORKS 2016 extends this and you can now modify the size and position of the end cap using reference dimensions without the need to edit the feature even on this curved beam. Another great enhancement in SOLIDWORKS 2016 is the ability to hide individual bodies, not just parts, using the Tab key. This applies to surface bodies as well as solid bodies. Shift Tab performs an unhide just like parts. Cut lists are a simple and powerful way to understand all the aspects of a structural design, and in SOLIDWORKS 2016 the property page now maintains individual column widths and overall dialog sizes. Many customers use derived parts to copy structural designs into individual separate parts. After selecting the items to transfer through and checking the option to transfer cutless properties, the new part is generated. New in SOLIDWORKS 2016 is the ability to interrogate the cut list and see the total length for each individual sized member, meaning you can easily see how much of each section is needed to build this structure. All these enhancements help you realise your designs faster and more accurately with SOLIDWORKS 2016.